Hello, my name is Makeda. Welcome back to my channel. Here we typically discuss different things to do and see and learn about Rwanda. Recently, I have been dabbling in some other topics, but that is generally ge that is generally what we talk about here and today i am going to be talking about my experience visiting a hotel in my favorite favorite part of rwanda which is musanze so if you want to hear about that my experience at my volcanoes hotel keep watching We ended up visiting Five Volcanoes just for a little staycay. I heard about the place from some friends who had gone with a big group and so I decided to try it out. So first up, let's just go into what and where Five Volcanoes is. So Five Volcanoes is, like I said, in Musanze. It's located in a great place because it's on the main road and it's close to different activities when we were there we went to go ride bicycles with the africa rising uh, cycling center so that was a lot of fun and the story is quite interesting because it's actually a tour guide who had been working for several years in musanze that started up this new lodge he decided to build it because he would hear all these stories from the tourists and visitors that he would be hosting and he decided to address Address to, those, to address <laughs> to address those issues by building his own hotel and that is how five volcanoes was born so we're here on the property actually let me get inside so people don't think I'm a crazy person so um, we just got to the spot. I'm really liking it so far. So first up, let's do a little room tour. This is the room that we stayed in. Um, we actually wanted to have the suite, but there was another guest who got to it quicker than us, unfortunately. But apparently the suite is really nice. We at least got to take a little look in the suite. So, um, you know, this is just a brief short, you know, look at how the suite looks and the, um, yeah. The sweet. I don't know. I, I was thinking if there's another name for it, but it's the sweet. So this is the tour of the room that we stayed in. So a few things that I liked about the actual room itself. I love the artwork that was in the room. The room that we had, and I don't know if all the rooms have the same artwork, but the artwork that was in our room was prints of uh, different scenes of Rwandan life from pre-colonial days. So I really, really loved that. They were, you know, beautiful shots, well curated for the space. And so I enjoyed that aspect of the design. Um, everything looked relatively new and felt relatively new. So that was very nice. The place when we were there was quite cold and Musante has that characteristic of being quite cold. Um, but they equipped us with everything that we need. The moment that we walked in, we saw a huge extra bed cover for our bed in case it was too cold. And then when we got in, they showed us exactly where the, the heater was, the room heater was, in case we wanted to use it. And then in the evening around, I wanna say around 7 p.m., they actually brought us some hot water bags that we could put into the bed so that we could get into a warm bed when the time came. So that was very, very nice. Another thing that I really liked about the rooms was the amount of light. So half of the one wall of the room pretty much is a window and it was all glass. And so a lot of light can come in if you open those curtains. It's very bright in the room, very, you know, lively and very beautiful. Now the room had a mini bar, which was nice. And so there was, you know, some little mini bottles of, of wine. There was a couple of bottles of beer in the fridge and some, you know, sparkling water. That was a nice touch, I feel. You know, one of the nights when I was there, I ordered, I think I ordered a uh, sparkling water. And that evening when I got into the room, they had already put another sparkling water in the mini bar because they knew that that was my order. And they did the same for Sasha. So that was really nice, you know, just feeling like they care about you. Aside from that, you know, there was a television with the STV and there was internet in the room. Both were working very well. So we really appreciated that because I was still working throughout the trip. So it was good for us to have that internet available and to have, you know, some TV to unwind to, relax to. 
and it was actually during the US elections and so it was good to be able to keep up with the news in that way while we were kind of on a staycation. The bathroom was clean, there was a huge tub in there that I did not get to use unfortunately, but the shower was nice, you know, a, a rain shower, the water was hot, Every like I have no complaints about that at all. The only thing that I would probably say is that there were two sinks on the counter which made it very hard for me to put any of my products or anything there. I mean there was a space for you know your toothbrush and toothpaste but you know I like to have somewhere to put my makeup and my hair stuff and all of that kind of thing and there wasn't that but that is like literally just nitpicking at this point. It was not necessary. I, there was ample room in the in the bedroom section so that was fine. I still had enough room. Now, another thing that I didn't love, 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 but that I think would be excellent if we were in a group was the amount of privacy in the room that we had. So um, the rooms are stunning because it's all in a line and it's kind of surrounding a courtyard, which is very nice, you know, it, it, it was beautiful to look out, but sometimes I felt as though people walking by in the courtyard could look in, which was a little bit awkward sometimes, you know, like changing in the room or things like that. It felt a bit like, you know, people who were walking around the room that we were in, it was sort of facing also the back of the kitchen. So it kind of felt as though, you know, if the chef came out or, or some servers were walking around, they could, so they could, they could look into the room. So that part was a little bit uncomfortable, but if you're there with a big group of people, I could see how that could be a lot of fun, you know, sitting on your veranda and a friend passing by or, you know, that kind of thing is really nice. But we were the only ones there, so it wasn't too much of a concern. Um, I, I mean, there was only us and maybe one other group of people that were in the suite. So it wasn't too much of a concern, but I could see how if it was a full house, maybe that could be a bit uncomfortable. We just closed the curtains if we felt as though, you know, we needed to change or we wanted some privacy. So that was fine. Hi, my name is Nelson Tugune and I am the team leader at the Five Volcanoes Boutique Hotel. You're most welcome. Now for the service, I mentioned this a bit earlier before, you know, it was really nice. The first time that we ordered at the restaurant, they remembered our order and they made sure to stock our mini bar accordingly. So that was nice. It made us feel as though, you know, they were thinking about us. And in general, the service there did make it feel like a family. You know, I didn't hear any hard nose. You know, they really tried to make anything that we asked for happen, which was really nice. It was cold and so we generally asked for all of our orders to be room service and they really accommodated us. They always asked us for the next meal, what we would want. They would bring us our room service quite quickly. So we were, ex whenever we expected the food to come, it would come. And some, I mean, the only, only thing that I could say about the service, um, which overall was very good. It was service with a smile, it was lovely. I think the only thing, even though the coffee is very good, sometimes it took a bit long to get the coffee, but now, like I said, I'm just nitpicking. Otherwise, it was excellent. So the food, the menus changed every day, which was nice. It was it was exciting to, you know, kind of check what would be the different thing in the, in the next meal that we would be having. Um, so that was really, nice it was a little cute part of the experience every day the menu rotating it's because you know it was like well what's gonna be on the menu for tonight so that was nice and every day the menu had vegetarian options which i thought was excellent um because even though there are so many vegetarians out there, it's still not that often that you have dedicated vegetarian options on a menu. So I really love that. I'm not a vegetarian, but I do like to eat vegetarian pretty often. Um, and so I liked the fact that I had the option. The breakfast was good, like a standard hotel breakfast for, you know, Musanze or Giseni. There was fresh fruits every morning, which is my favorite part, but they also had some, some pastries, some pancakes, you know, some some cute little things so that was good one of the things that I really liked was that they had maple syrup which is not often there they had different you know jams and jellies I really liked the coffee that they were serving there I should have asked them what kind of coffee they were serving a friend of mine who also went there said the same thing so I think you can trust they'll have good coffee there if it's the same coffee that we had one thing I do have to say though about this property is that listen the flora and fauna game gardening on a hundred i love it this place is gorgeous just you know all of the beautiful greenery 
so overall we really really enjoyed the experience like i said the service made us feel really comfortable the rooms were comfortable we felt nice and warm even though it was a pretty cold time to be in musanze and it was a great location not only because it was on the main road but because it was right beside the africa cycling center which we went and did a whole bicycling tour um which was really really fun so you know there's activities there's comfort and of course if you were doing you know gorilla trekking or anything like that it's not far or hard to get to so those were some of the things that i liked about five volcanoes and i would recommend it if you want to go somewhere especially now that there are deals if you want to go and have a staycation or if you're visiting rwanda anytime soon and you plan to go to musanze i would recommend you going and trying out five volcanoes that was my experience. I'm going to put their information in the description box, but this isn't the last experience like this that I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm going to be going a bit more in depth into our cycling tour, and I will also be talking about some other hotels that I visited while I was in Musanze. So if you like this kind of content, make sure that you like this video and you comment below what you thought about it, and I will keep the videos coming. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.